Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson and we're going to talk about a very stormy trend of weather as we head through, well, the first 15 days of the month of January, the way it looks. If you've seen my previous videos, you've noticed me talking about this change in the weather. We had a sudden stratospheric warming. That's going to bring some, for some of the nation, our first Arctic incursion into the year. And as that works its way through, the storm track is shifting. And I got to tell you, it looks like an active path. Now you're hearing talk about storm system this weekend, working its way all the way from the Southwest where the storm is right now. And it's going to work its way off toward the East Coast. And it's going to bring some much needed rain to parts of the Gulf Coast states as well. But it's not just that, it's a series of storms that appear to be on hand and the track is very similar from storm to storm, and the greatest impacts will be as follows. Now, I want to caution you. Some of the graphics that I'm showing you are actually forecast models, and forecast models are guidance to meteorologists. They help us make decisions on what the storm track changes might look like, but as meteorologists, we know, we know that the snowfall amounts that these things are putting out at this stage of the game for the next five to 10 days are quite honestly out to lunch in some places because the storm track can change and will change many times. And the intensity of the future storms will change based on what happens with the prior storm. So all that said, we can take a look at a more active pattern and we're going to do that right now. Let's get right into it first and foremost with what we have on the uh, forecast American model. And here, let me switch this over to the most recent model that I have in-house. And as we take a look at that, as it comes in, I will tell you this, that right now we have winter storm warnings in the mountains of the desert Southwest in New Mexico. And that storm right now is expected to produce several inches of snow. And in the higher terrain above say six to 7,000 feet, we could see significant amounts of snow impacting travel over eight to 10 inches of snow. Now you can see on the map right now, as I pop this up for you, that there are a number of places that have ooh, watches, warnings, and advisories as we head into our Wednesday night and Thursday morning. There's winter storm watches in the mountains of California. The blue counties that you see here are winter weather advisories all the way from Nevada and the desert. Uh, southern Utah, the mountains of Arizona, and the red ones are winter storm warnings in New Mexico. The system will lift through the panhandle of Oklahoma. You will feel it in the panhandle of Texas as well as western Kansas. And as that system exits its way off to the East Coast, there are not watches and warnings yet issued for those areas as a result of the storms. The colors that you're looking at here, just for your information, are snowfall potential from the storms as we go through the next uh, um, 10 to 15 days. This carries us all the way to the 19th of the month, and you'll see that on the top of this image here. I'll slide it down for you so you can see the dates up at the top. And again, I want to caution you that, <laughs> that these models are showing snowfall amounts that, quite frankly, are um, not something that we should get too excited about. But what we can see is the track. So here starts the storm, storm one, moving its way through the mountains, the mountains of New Mexico, in the northern mountains, and particularly the northeastern quadrant of the state, south of Pueblo, Colorado, also for the Durango and Alamosa areas in Colorado, and four corners for that matter, Several inches of snow are expected. Now, when we take a look at this again, take these snowfall amounts of six to 10 inches uh, with a little grain of salt, but there are indeed warnings in these areas. So we will see pockets that get over eight inches of snow and that will most likely be in the elevated terrain. You're looking at a timestamp here and this timestamp is for the sixth, which is Saturday. Now this is the storm just exiting the Rockies and heading into places like Wichita, where this American model says that there will be a chance for some mixed precipitation south in towards Oklahoma City and snow up into central and southern Kansas. That lines its way up into the Kansas City vicinity and also in towards ah, northwest. Missouri. Now, as we set this into motion, you'll see this storm system with regards to snow, not rain. There will be a lot of rain with this system as it works its way through the southeast. Look at this. Here it goes. As we see our forecast for Sunday in the morning, 
it really blossoms into a snow event. There'll be heavy rain in the Carolinas where we already have flood warnings, and it will be snow in the nation's capital and in the elevated train. So from Roanoke and the Virginias all the way up through Pennsylvania, particularly not far from Philly, okay, as we get into Baltimore, a great chance of snow working its way through. Now, how about New York? Up towards Syracuse and upstate, well, this model says things will be a little bit quieter there, but there'll still be some stout snowfall amounts as a caution. Lake effect snow can enhance those totals in isolated locations. But there could be pockets, and I'm not saying it will be exactly where you see just off to the west of Philly, but certainly in the elevated terrain of the Appalachians that will enhance our snowfall totals. As we set this into motion, carrying you through the rest of your Sunday and into Monday, that storm exits through Boston. It does look like it is still in play for significant snow across parts of central parts of uh, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and it stays offshore, but still significant snow for coastal parts of Maine. New Hampshire, and the elevated terrain of Vermont as well. And that's storm one. So I do want to point out that the snow amounts that we see for the next waves of storms will not necessarily be something that we can uh, lay our hat on or hang our hat on at this particular time. But I will load that up for you now, and we'll take a peek at the future radar from this particular model and show you that <laughs> when we're talking about winter precipitation and for you in the deep south, some wet precipitation we definitely have a lot to talk about there so we'll go ahead and let this load up and while that does i will caution you once again to say the specific tracks of these storms are going to change but there are indications of a pattern by both this model the american model and the european model showing that we're going to have a very active series of weather as we go through the next several days in the pacific northwest the southwest the Central and Southern Rockies, the Central and Southern Plains, the Great Lakes and the East Coast. All right, the model is loaded. Let's take a look. This is a look at future radar. The colors that you're going to see on this model uh, look like what we anticipate the radar might be looking like as we head into this forecast period. So without further ado, let's get over to that. Okay, here we go. And beg your pardon, here we go. I think my, uh, I may need to move my monitor around. A little bit. Let's just see. There we go. There it is. Had to load up the data. Here we go. Okay, so you're looking at the start of the forecast period here, and we'll let this stream all the way through, and you're going to see wave after wave from the Pacific Northwest, and here's the one coming for this weekend. Boom. The snow, New York, Boston. Uh, Philadelphia and portions of the Great Lakes. Also in the Ohio River Valley, it looks like there could be some significant snow and wind. While this one is taking place, look at this wave two is making its way through the same area. Now, this one gets going as we head out of the weekend and into early next week. Boom, it comes out of the central Rockies. This storm will affect a different area of the central plains with another round of heavy rain potential in the Mississippi and Missouri River Valleys as we go into next week. That is the 8th. This is the 8th of January at noon. This system works its way through and notice the better chance of snow pushing more northward and into places like Chicago with some heavier bands of snow, Detroit, uh, Columbus, Ohio, all the way up into western parts of New York once again. A lot of rain with this system on top of the snow from the last system could create quite a mess for our neighbors along the mid-Atlantic states and the east coast. Then, while this one is working its way through the eastern third of the United States, the next system makes its way on in the Pacific Northwest. The pattern looks relentless, and actually we can draw on here with my pencil, and we'll get that pencil out right now, uh, and show you that this pattern has storms slamming in the Pacific Northwest, working its way through the central and or southern Rockies, right up through the central plains, the Gulf Coast states with some rain, and into the mid-Atlantic, and some of these storms that do take more of a central Rockies path will impact the Great Lakes. This area up here is C-O-L-D, cold, and it's an Arctic air mass that settles in. And that's really going to be a staple fixture here in the northern plains. And because of that cold, that storm track is really going to be pretty progressive through the 
areas that I drew in the arrows. Now, as we continue to set this into motion, you'll see the next system at the Pacific Northwest work its way through the Central Rockies. And here comes another one, a little bit smaller, working its way through the Central Plains. But here's another one on the heels, all the way in the Central and Northern Rockies of Wyoming and into portions of the Dakotas and Minnesota. This is a long way out. You're looking at the 15th of the month. And I do not put a lot of weight or credit into the track of these individual storms. But what I do say, as a meteorologist of 26 years uh, on in broadcast meteorology, with uh, nearly 20 years of college level teaching in meteorology, I can tell you that there is a pattern shift underway right now as we begin the new year. And it does look very active for our neighbors from the Pacific Northwest, Central and Southern Rockies, Gulf Coast states looks very wet, but the Central Plains into the Great Lakes and at least mid-Atlantic states and points north seeing some mighty wintry weather. I hope that helps. If it did, please like the video, comment and share with ideas that you have for me. And yes, I appreciate all of your support right here. My name is again is Hutch Johnson and watching Hutch's Weather. I'll be back with updates, but prepare for a wild start to the brand's